Hello everybody, this is KMVG207 and welcome to a new series that I'm starting. Um, well, I kind of already started it a while back, but uh, I'm going to call this series Let's Make a Marker Week Custom Track. And I'm going to be using the uh, program Blender to create a Marker Week track. Um, I'm not I'm not really sure what I'm going to make. I have a, a slight idea of what kind of track to make. But uh, make sure to leave any uh, comments uh, with any ideas and features you want to have. So I'm thinking of making a uh, Wario's Goldmine type-ish track. And so I exported a whole bunch of textures from Wario's Goldmine. But uh, let's get started. First of all, um, we're going to create the track. Or at least um, I'm going to create the... Uh, was it was it called the um the minecart tracks you know y you'll see what i mean i'm gonna set this to texture mode and use the uv image editor thing um it's been a while since i used sketchup uh what blender so it's uh it's gonna be a bit interesting for me as well to try and get some uh, things back into here um let's give this material uh i don't know rail or just like uh, wood, road, wood, or something like that. I'm not really sure how this really worked again. Um, I'm gonna grab this texture and say UV mapping. All right, so I can start UV mapping this piece of track. So I'm gonna be using uh, curves, curves uh, in Blender to make the track follow, or yeah, make the this thing follow the curve. So it's gonna be a pretty smoothish track. Um, you'll see what I mean in a second. Let me. Uh, unwrap this section right here. Turns out that uh, it's kind of the wrong way round. Um, let's see, scale on the x axis by two and scale on the y axis. Actually, let's see, so this is 0.5, and we're gonna have to scale it up by let's say what seems normal ish. Um, so this is like half if we make it one. And then scale it on Y. I'm to make it two, and I think we need to scale it on the Y by two again, and that should be pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing over on this side. I'm gonna unwrap the thing. I'm gonna rotate. Why is it this time small? I have no idea. I also don't really know. Let's see, what side of the track? I think this is the correct side. I'm gonna. Uh, Let's see, constraint to image bounds? No. It's kind of put it in a weird spot. Why isn't it like sideways as the other one? This is, uh, welcome to Blender. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been a while, so I might, uh, be a bit, uh, bad at this. I'm just gonna, no, don't constrain it anymore, didn't I? Ha! <laughs> All right. Uh, let's make it four times, and then we can like constrain it this way, which means it'll snap. There we go. All right, and then I think this is already correct, isn't it? We're gonna have to grab and move it down to make sure that. Uh, gosh, this is fun. I have to line. Uh, let's let's just try to line this up real quick. I need to flip it, huh? Scale in the Y by minus one, and then kind of move it about. Till it lines up properly. There you go. Uh, let's move it by pixels. So, if we move it by pixels, then we can make sure that you know this stuff is uh, pixel perfect. Same thing here. So we can snap it. I, I'm pretty, nah, you know, that's fine. All right. So here we go. Um, I'm not sure about the alpha. That there should be alpha in here, and I'm not sure, not sure why it's not showing up in the here. I, I've never really gotten alpha to work properly here, so I'm just gonna keep it as this. I think in game we can change this back. Now, there's the thing I saw when exporting the textures for this that we're gonna have to uh, make a backside of this because there's textures for the backside of this which doesn't have the rails so let me show the normals and see that's proper properly done I'm um, just gonna what the hell did I just do I fine uh, <laughs> we're gonna uh, now we're gonna duplicate this and then move it down by like minus um, or can I not Grab on the z-axis. I'm just I say G, but uh, actually what I should do. I'm so sorry. Um, 
I'm not prepared for this. I should have activated the add-on, which is like input or keyboard, like on a screen. Screencast keys. All right, there we go. So, um, all right, so we can change the size of the things a little bit. So you can now you can now see what's going on, uh, what I'm doing here. So uh, I have already no, I've not duped it, have I? Uh, I don't really remember. In case no, all right, we duplicate this. We like move it down. Why isn't it yet doing the Z thing? All right, minus point zero one. I'm pretty sure. So now we have a duplicate uh, track on the bottom, which we can then. Uh, flip direction on the UVs, so now it's like both like correctly uh, two-sided um, and then I'm gonna just kinda grab all these and I'm going to apply a different texture on these so we're gonna say um, I'm gonna say wall or perhaps just like road underside, I don't know I'm going to load up a texture from the textures folder and I think this one, this one, this is supposed to be like the underside of the track. So I just kind of switch that to this. Voila. So now um, if there was transparency and for example, you would uh, see this track curve down, you can see it come up. You can see the underside of the track. It's actually got this, which means it doesn't have the, uh, the rail on top of it, I guess. I'm not sure if this is how they did in the original game. I just kind of noticed that and I thought that was something cool um, <laughs> that I could perhaps implement in the track. All right, so now I've got like the uh, whole track done. Let's rename this to like, uh, like, um, what is this? Like default track. All right, so now this is our default track object. I'm actually gonna move it aside and duplicate it um, so we have I uh, should have let's turn this on so I can properly move it back into the center alright now we've got our track done um, yeah we now should be able to make a little curve so this is you know the track as you saw let's actually let me have a look at what other textures there are available um, do we have just a separate thing or we could extend that manually? Okay, so let's just leave it at this and make a bit of a road. Now, I'm gonna try to recreate at least a little bit of uh, the standard, should we call it? Let me, no, I just, crap. <laughs> Let me delete this one. I hate that like it doesn't start with, like a standard thing. It's just really annoying. Rotate Z minus 90. All right, then I'm just gonna kind of lay out a bit of a track. Why is it the opposite way? <laughs> uh, please be the right, for God's sake, why is it the, why is it the opposite way? Okay, so we're gonna have to make this move backwards and this forward, what? Fantastic. All right, Blender's giving me a... There we go. All right, we've got the track finally running up and running. It means I'm going to have to be doing some cutting and doing stuff uh, because I thought I could make this uncut. Now, if I cut this, I can make things flow better and I'm just going to, you know, <laughs> I'm going to have to edit to, to work on the... Uh, the video a little bit to make it flow a bit better. All right, so let's make it another like steep ass drop like we have in the original. Um, I'm actually gonna make one go back so we have a bit of a straight way to start from. Um, now, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna create like a nice curve that curves all the way to the right. I'm not sure how high it's gonna go up. Oh, well, something along these lines. Um, there we go and this one I'm just gonna want to make the curve seem pretty smooth there we go um, it's kinda you know it's 3d curves you know um, 
we're gonna make it run into here and then I'm actually just gonna make it stop because I'm gonna make the track start just on like the original game where the track starts on not these things it actually starts off on like a, a bit of a kind of a dirt sand thing let me see if I can find the texture for you um, this thing I'm pretty sure that's where it starts off of you know on the starting line um, starting, starting texture should be here Where's the start line texture? Should be somewhere inside here. They called this like all. I'm pretty sure there's just a whole bunch of random textures that they used. <laughs> it's not really a meaning to it. House all. These are all like the house things. Some of these are like wood. It's English, but testudy. I'm not sure what this means. Um, yeah, they just named it. Uh, I don't know. Cave wall. But then these other things are like. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not Nintendo. I, I didn't name this. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But I don't care. So we're going to make this happen right like this. And it's going to end off on a bit of a straight way here. I'm going to make a manual turn. I'm pretty sure. I'm going to make another sand piece there. So yeah, let's just, let's just do this. <laughs> I've been going off for a bit too long now. Let's go ahead and add the curve modifier and an array modifier. It looks like we're going to have to select the Bezier curve here. And this is incorrect. Now, hey, maybe I need to do the array first and then the curve. Oh, that fixed it completely. <laughs> All right. Turns out also I'm going to have to uh, rotate this thing on the z-axis by 90 degrees there we go all right so here's our curve thing ish thing something uh, let me move this over so we can have a bit of a an extra bit here and as you can see it makes a nice curve however it's kind of bending and i would kind of like this to not be like this can manually change the tilt over here. It's kind of annoying because I don't really know how this works. It's really annoying to try to line it up. So let me try to tilt this back to normal. Or how about we kind of leave it slightly and then have this one be perfectly straight. All right, tilt this back to pretty much horizontal. There we go. All right, so now we've got a nice little drop down and then a big curve to the right. Um, I feel like I'm gonna have to scale up this curve from here. So let me change this to active element. No, um, 3D cursor, that's gonna allow cursor to center and then we can scale it on here. I'm thinking that the Curve is slightly too small. However, I'm, I'm not quite sure, man. <laughs> Let's just increase the count again. There we go. So, now I'm not sure how big this is in game. If you would drive on the track, um, I'm just gonna leave it like this. I'm <laughs> just gonna leave it like so. All right, then. Um, I'm not sure how to end this properly, but we're going to try to add the uh, other piece of the track right here. Let me save this as a different file, so I can, uh, I always make copies, so if we something, something messes up, we can always go back. All right, so now we're going to add a plane. I'm going to try to create something here, um, something on the lines of... Edit mode. All right, so I'm gonna take these and like, what is it? Oh, <laughs> no, not active. Medium point, something on these lines. All right, so there we go. Um, I'd like to have something that show that kind of shows like, hey, it's uh, you're gonna kind of need to go here. So I'm just gonna do this because this is gonna be pretty wide. So this is like this starting area thing. Um, let's just do it like this. There we go, that's the starting area. And then I'm gonna 
kind of do these and scale these together so we can have a start line right here and it's going to be time for us to uh, texture these properly I'm going to control P no, is it Alt P? no, it's not P, just P uh, I forgot the things we're going to do um, by selection so now we kind of cut these things into pieces so we can now edit the starting line and the and the rest on their own so it's not the same thing so it means you also don't have problems with uh, the materials so we're gonna say material or road sand or something I don't really know what it is I'm just this just kind of for reference the actual collision in game I can always change that no matter what um, it looks like I'm also have to need to do the sides because those also have different textures but we'll get to that we'll get to that I'm gonna do unwrap no we're gonna just yeah we're gonna do un how about just Q pro no project no I just I would like this to let's just do project from view now <laughs> uh, there voila so they have like the proper uh, size I'm not sure I'm just gonna do this, whatever. So as you can see, there we go. Uh, it might need to be smaller, even. I'm not sure. I don't care. <laughs> We're gonna switch to this one. This one's gonna be road start line. It's gonna get the texture, uh, the uh, whatever texture we had there, the all texture, and we're just gonna give it the texture. I'm gonna have to kind of yeah as you can see it's kind of wrong we're gonna use prediction view bounds and as you can see the starting line is like there so we're just gonna make this texture do that there we go and uh, scale on the x-axis to it about lines up which is about 12 I'd say there we go so there's the start line properly done and we've got a bit of a track going uh... it's kind of overlapping i would kind of like okay you know what i made like two pieces of the road so we can actually like move this one down so it's like below whoops so it's like below that the zooming is really annoying sometimes uh... <laughs> let's what's this align view view selected so now okay there we go so yeah it goes slightly down I'm not, not sure if you can see it can I change the uh, the boy the clip there we go so now we can pretty much just like see you you see it, it goes slightly inside or underneath the track but it's so small it's what the fuck is going on oh I think that's caused by the clip distance well I don't know how 3d rendering works so I don't mind all right so we've got a bit of a track going next time I'm gonna continue the track I'm gonna have to come up with an idea make sure to leave your suggestions on the what to, what kind of things to add on the track for sure uh, I'll see you guys in the next video